We agree the NRM has zero tolerance on corruption. You have heard what is happening. Three members of parliament. More, me. Absolutely. And, and when we talk about corruption, I, I want to say this. There are things that we are unearthing which did not even take place in this parliament. For instance, the over 270 billion of monies in cooperatives. Was it appropriated by this parliament? No. Wasn't it an act by this parliament? Yes. Wasn't it an act by a committee chaired by a member of the National Resistance Movement? Yes. And it is our report that is being used by both the anti-corruption of State House and IGG, including CID. Because it was more detailed, including Bugisu. Yes. Including Lang, where I come from. <laughs> Many places, Teso, Bushini, yes. that was Bukidi, that was an earth. You can imagine that. And that one also wait. Action will also be taken. This is a wake up call for us that monitoring and evaluation of the programs of government and more especially in relation to the manifesto, the contract that the NRM entered with the people of Uganda when we're coming to power in 2021 is a collective responsibility for us to assess the impact and implementation as we now move to our third and fourth year uh, of implementation of this program. Most times the problem is people not accessing information, but now as we have been here, questions which were being asked, they were able to get answers, they have been directed where to go, such that people are able to move and make sure that service delivery is achieved, especially at the local government level. Today we have the PDM, we have Dusaf, we have Emioga and what have you. The whole problem arises from the initial stage of designing these programs. The programs are designed from Kampala and imposed on the, on the citizens. They are imposed on local governments without carrying out necessary research. And after imposing these projects, eventually they fail to take off. Ministers, let's move forward for a group photo. Thank you for that.